Hi, this is Patrick Altmaier. I'm going to show you how to install the wireless drivers for Linux Mint 13. Um, what you do is you come on over here to the menu. You select all applications and then additional drivers. And once they are done searching, you will see your wireless drivers in here. This is why I recommend Linux Mint 13 or Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, long-term support version because that's the version of Ubuntu that Linux Mint 13 also uses. Okay, you highlight it because whatever is highlighted you're going to um, install the driver. So I got the Broadcom and then I hit activate. You enter your password you used when you, uh, you know, first installed Linux and just sit and wait. It's going to take about a minute, maybe two. I can't stress enough how much better that Linux Mint 13 and 14 is. Okay, now it is it is it is actively and currently in use. Since I already um, installed it earlier, that's why it's working. But then what you would do is come over here, select. I, you see, I got a bunch of these out here. Select whatever wireless you have. I have the. I can either hook up to the Tumbleweed or the Tumbleweed 5G. I'll move it over here just to show you as an example. Once you click it, see how it asks for your password? Well, this is your login router password. Uh, let me retype it in. I think I messed up. And you hit connect. Give it about a minute or less. It should be just a couple of seconds. Okay, see connection established. We are done. I hope you uh, enjoy this video. Please subscribe. Remember, use Linux Mint 13 or Ubuntu 12.04 LTS because Linux Mint 13 is stable and better for 90% of you, and it'll do the same thing as 12. Point, as Linux Mint 14 and the Ubuntu 12.04 will do virtually everything you need to do is 12.10 without the headaches. This is Patrick Altmaier. Please subscribe.